Hello and welcome again to FineTree.com. In this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a 3D signboard in just few steps. So basically, we are using some action scripting in this tutorial. So we will open up the action window by going to window menu and clicking on actions. So here it is, our action tab. You can see there are some default actions or you can download action from internet. Now I will load the action from here, click on load actions, I will browse the action and I will select the member card action and click on load. So here you can see the action is now here, I will drag this to our top. It's quite easy to apply other the action scripts in Photoshop, so now I will click on the start. And I will select on play and whenever you hit the play button it will automatically generate a image like this on your canvas so I will now increase the image size I will go to image menu canvas size and I will set the width to 3 inches and height to 2 inches and click OK now I will select the image, the blue image you can see and I will press Ctrl T to get free transformation and I will drag the mouse outwards to get and apply the free transformation onto our canvas. So here it is. You can see the card is much smaller now. So I will again transform it to best fit to the edges. Also, we will again increase the can our canvas size. So to do that, you will have to go to image, canvas size and I will increase the width of canvas size to 4 inches. So here it is. Now you can see our canvas is much bigger now. Again, I will press Ctrl T to get free transformation and I will drag out my mouse toward right and toward left. So here it is, it is our now our sign 3D signboard. Now we will select the rectangular marquee tool and I will select some area inside my blue image. So here it is. Create a new layer over here. Here you see I did I created a new layer. And now I will fill this the selected area with white color. I'll select the paint bucket tool. I'll pick the white color. Click OK and I will apply the white area to my selected area. White color to my selected area. So here it is. Now next step is we will write some text over here or we will first put our logo here. So I will open up the image. I am using as my logo so I will just go to file menu and click on open I will browse the image I will browse the directory where the image is saved I will click open so here it is now I will press ctrl A to select all and ctrl C to copy the image I will close this now I will create a new layer over here and I will rename the layer to logo. I will put the logo by pressing Ctrl V on the new layer and I will drag the logo toward the left top and adjust the logo over there. Now we will select our text tool to write some text over our signboard. So here is a text tool. From the tool palette you can select that. And over here I will write my website name, it is www.findtoday.com. I will now select all the text by pressing Ctrl A or just dragging out my mouse. And I will increase the size. You can adjust the text size and text font 
up to your own choice. Again, I will now change the font face. You can pick any font you like. I will pick one of my favorite fonts. That is old English text empty. So here it is. Also, I will reduce the size to 18 and I will increase the size to 36 points or 24 points. Here it is. Now I will press Ctrl T to get free transformation and I will apply the transformation. I will adjust the text over my signboard. I will hit enter to apply transformation. I will drag out my mouse over here like this to adjust the text on the canvas. Again I will select the text tool and I will write the tag line over here. First I will reduce the size to 12 points. And I will select some other font. You can write any tagline on your 3D card, and, but like I'm writing blend Photoshop in your life. And Blend Photoshop in your life and leave healthy chairs. That's it. You can write any kind of text that you want to show on your card. I will now change the font face to some other font. That gives a better look with our findutility.com text. So I will pick up this font I will adjust the text over my canvas Now I will go to layer menu, layer styles, and blending options and I will apply the layer styles to my findutility.com layer I will apply the drop shadow and I will reduce its opacity I'll click on drop shadow and reduce its opacity to about 67%. Reduce the angle to 90 degree. Increase the distance to 5, spread to 5, and size to 8. I'll select this contour jaw. Or I can set the simple contour as default. Now I will click on outer glow and I will change this color to the one in our logo. I will increase the spread to 26% and size to 10 pixels, opacity to 99% and contour this one. We will continue in the second part of the tutorial.